bite it, bite it, or bite though. I need a drink, it's what I came for. A night low, just so you know, to leave one know, to leave one know. And I'm driving in the range room, it's bad time, and the nigga rush over. To leave one know, to leave one know, to leave one know, yeah, yeah. We got the fine girls in Bandari. We shall put gum and squeeze your body. She got the thing I need. Honestly, you can't tell me nothing. Look at your feature, beautiful creature. You make this life so easy. In this episode of This Is Uganda, I'm going to explore the ins and outs of the beauty industry, looking at some of Uganda's very own beauty brands, as well as the hidden cost of beauty, which is child labor in vanilla farming. I'm off to get my makeup done by one of Uganda's top makeup artists, Peter Russell. What look are we going for today? So I'm thinking warm tones, probably earth tones. Okay. The browns, I see you're wearing brown, yes. so let's keep it brown. Okay, okay. Now that my face is beat, I'm going to one of my favorite restaurants, Stonehaven, to meet one of the founders of Ugandan makeup brand, The Fix Cosmetics. Fix Cosmetics focus on eyelashes and eyeshadow palettes, which I personally use. What I really want to know is your story of how you started this. and it's, So it's you, Kathy, it's me, Kathy, BC, and then we also have uh, Carol, Kathy's sister. Okay. So it's a, it's a brand that's run by sisters. Oh, that's nice. So sister yes. and sister and sister and sister. Yes. And when did you guys start? The Fix was Metric side in 2019. Yeah, before lockdown? Yes, okay, before okay. lockdown. So when lockdown happened, we had to first take a pause and like, what happened? We don't know what's happening. Oh, wow. So we started in 2019. Initially, we started with just the eyelashes. Mm -hmm. And then later in 2021, we expanded into the eyeshadow. The eyeshadow yes. How come you guys decided to do lashes and not like, I don't know, concealer or like foundation? Well, lashes one easy entry into the industry, but we're looking to expand as we go on. And the lashes were created because they they cover so many different people. You know, you don't have to be a certain. I get what you're saying. Like anyone can wear lashes. Anyone basically. can wear lashes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So it's like yeah. friendly for everybody. It's friendly yeah. for everybody. So yeah. they wanted to create something that immediately someone can use it. Okay. You don't have to be this, you don't have to be that. So, when they move from lashes into eyeshadow, mm. the eyeshadow, we love eyeshadow, all of us. I can see, look at your <laughs> eyes! You did that yourself? 
Yes, nice. I actually use the Fix Cosmetics in some parts. But nice, yeah. yes. giving. Mm -hmm. So we all love, we love eyeshadow, especially the colorful one. That's mm -hmm. why we wanted to create a palette that's colorful. But mm -hmm. we know not everyone loves that as we do. That's me. <laughs> I'm, I'm more of like nudes, gold. Nudes. Like you can see like more like kind of warm tones. Color for me, I'm still scared to mm. experiment with color. But I've seen your palette, have it at home. Yeah. So I will try it, but yeah, interesting, okay. The beauty industry has a lot of controversy when it comes to ethics and following the right thing. And I wanna know how The Fix is kind of making sure they're on track. Well, unfortunately, so many people in the beauty industry tend to test on animals. We don't do that. We have we emphasize how cruelty free we are because we don't want to we don't want our products to go out to our clients and our clients are using them but meanwhile there's people suffering there's other be living beings suffering simply because we're selling beauty no that's not who we are so we make sure that our products are not tested on any animals and that our factories the people who make our products that they follow they follow international labor law and make sure that they're not children because children shouldn't be working in factories they shouldn't be making these products just for us to feel good about ourselves so we make sure that they don't do any of that and that people are getting paid fairly while they're working yes that's so refreshing to hear because i feel like it's something that people kind of sweep under the rug and it's really not talked about in the beauty industry like i've never honestly maybe it's my own ignorance but i've never really seen people speaking out on that issue i've seen other other issues people speak about on social media, campaigns. When it comes to the beauty industry, I feel like it's kind of hush-hush. It is hush-hush because, you know, like with eyelashes, there's mink eyelashes made from mink. Oh, wait, yes. hold on. Mink eyelashes are made from actual, I just thought they were called mink eyelashes. No, they're made from actual mink. They, they are made, yes, they are made from them. So ours are for mink, not oh. mink. Oh wow, I didn't, forgive my ignorance, no, I didn't know are. that. So many people don't. So then how come, I, maybe I never see people saying, oh let's stand up against because mink. they don't talk about it. The big brands, many big brands, they use mink, so they won't push anything that says, oh no, no mink. Yeah. Oh wow, well thank you for opening my eyes to that. Um, okay, it's very, been very nice meeting you. Let me finish my water. That drink looks so good, I might order that too. You but should. Thank you so much. It is a lovely drink. Cheers. Cheers to ethics. <laughs> Good morning, guys. So yesterday was super insightful meeting with Taylor, aka Sweetie, um, from Fix Cosmetics. I love their initiative. I love what they're doing. I've used their eyelashes before. Again, how I know them is through their dance and what they can do on stage. We've actually worked together before um, at one of the events I've done. But getting to hear their story about why they decided to delve into the beauty industry, again, I loved it. I love, love, loved it. I love seeing Ugandans just doing things in spaces where we belong and where we can accelerate and where we can thrive. So that to me was super exciting. So today I'm still looking at the beauty industry in Uganda, finding out what's going on, but it's a complete flip from yesterday. Yesterday was focused on looking at the wonderful brands we have here, Ugandan brands we have here in the beauty industry. Today, I am going with World Vision to Jinja and we're gonna go to uh, Vanilla Farms and see what happens on those Vanilla Farms because there are concerns in regards to child labor, um, controversial subjects, sensitive subjects, I personally had no idea there was so, so much controversy in the beauty industry in regards to child labor. Um, so this is going to be very interesting for me, particularly because I'm a big vanilla enthusiast. I use vanilla every single day. It's just something that happens subconsciously for me, like my body spray is vanilla, um, the perfume I use is vanilla, um, the body butters I use usually have vanilla in them. So this is going to be really, really interesting um, and eye-opening. So yeah, let me pack my bags and get ready. We're meeting Peter, 
a local chairman who has been working with Vanilla since he was five years old. <laughs> Tabitambula ubi pitambula bulonji. Amanya gange nze salipita. Ne miaka satu musamvu. Ndi mufumbo. Nina vana bana. Kobe tuwa niza sebo makago. Nkale nyabo. Nkale nyabo nawe jeba liko nyabo. Kwenye ya kuchi kwenye kuchari. Ndi musajja mulimi no kurunda. Mm. Mm. Vanila yechirime change chisinga. Echisinga. Pozi nevi toke. Nga embera wechari webera. Nima no mchara owa olima weka. Uh, okulima ni mani mchala wange mpozi naba koza watu yamba koko mchala wawiru ulibutu kwa nabana wunaba ni mani mbutu aa ah, ebisele bisinga asiga le waka naba ilanga akula kuwa neja waka eji ukula viriri waka na ebisoro fene tuwela mnimiro nze mpozi naba koza watu yamba koko yamba koza watu yamba koko Nina bakozi bana. Abana pote balima. Abana bange balima. Bwe baba ba umude. Bonna okujja ko ya owe myeze 10 no gumu. Abana obagerero otia okola. Tabasigalanga bana. Abana ebisere bisinga. Fetuko laba laba. Balina ekisera kyabo kibakolere lango omutono omanya ntikati akoyi. Na ye umwana buwatu kamu miaka kumi na gumu kumi nevili. Otandi kumule kakuluo kubaba ama nye nsonga luwacha akola. Nze mbabuli ya tutu ulani tuogira. Akola ama nyigewe gamu komeza wa stopping ila na akole vilala. Okusoma ze bwa kwensanze mu kulima vanilla okusoka kwa ababbi ababbi bo batumala ke mirembe ekirala challenge ye ya gently ye ya banafa bali waguru abatutegerera mu mulimu ogwo ntibo osanga omuntu we Kampala nga katugeze nti osanze yo mamo wabano musanvu bagundi Nenga ya, ya picking a interest mkulima vanila. Na agama nange wafe mcharo ni netaka. Kakati na weleza sente. Nibata andiko simba vanila. Nibata simba vanila angali muofisi. Ngata gena angayu kumula bako. Obu, no mbuza ni vanila. Ngalo uza kula nga miti. Na yate vanila yene ba mseti ingide miwendo. Echintu echo na fecha hatu tabula. Tetuma nyi, guwachi vanila yeka, yevi muku vilime, bitutuunda mububisi, nivata nga choba achiseti ngiru muwendo. Elanga guli na kulangirirwa, nti mubanga weriti, wepalino kumuku ngula, oba, enakuzo mwezi mwezi ti, ebe yeja kuba weti. Echintu echo, nafecha atutabuli la dala. Ita tetuma nyi, guwachi vachikula webati. What does it smell like to you? Happiness. Oh. <laughs> it smells like ice Vanilla cream to me. Vanilla is my favorite. So it's just nice. Masna, what does it smell like to you? Vanilla. Oh yeah, I want to get a picture. Of vanilla, like vanilla? It's just really light. It's not really strong, the smell. It's quite subtle. It's still young, so... Yeah. It's yes, not yet but touch, touch, the oil, touch the oil. Touch the, the, the black. Because that's what the oil is made from. This black, mm. this, this, this is Can I do the oil. same? Yes, okay. just, mm. just what, touch, touch it. Yeah, mm. touch. Smell that. This is what the oil is made from. Even you mm. feel it. Lucy, what does it smell like to you? Ice cream. Mm. Mm. Ice cream! <laughs> giving me like summer ice cream vibe. <laughs> Good morning, guys. So we're on day two. Um, yesterday was very insightful meeting with Peter and his family. I'm going to vanilla farm i learned a lot about vanilla that i had no clue about all i knew before this trip was that vanilla cake tasted good and that i love the scent of vanilla 
but learning about the struggles that farmers have to go through is really opening my eyes. I'm just still shocked that no beauty brand has ever really come out and campaigned against the ill treatment of um, farmers in regards to vanilla harvesting and in regards to child labor. Um, I am going to do some research just to see if there has been some awareness, but I think there's definitely a lack of awareness in Uganda. Um, I'm looking forward to today, meeting other families, hearing other stories, meeting other children. And yeah, this is just, it's, it's an amazing trip, but it's also shocking to me. Very, very shocking. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna look at vanilla after this. I wear vanilla every day. I'm wearing vanilla right now, literally. It's my favorite scent. Um, yeah, but let me just, let's see how the day goes. Off to breakfast and then off to the vanilla farms. <laughs> Today we're meeting Margaret, a widowed vanilla farmer. My name is so abazukuru <laughs> Embera <laughs> That's <laughs> 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 we sprayed Margaret and her grandchildren with some vanilla perfume and gave them some vanilla scented lotion. This was their first time seeing and smelling these vanilla products. Nebula <laughs> 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 I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go 
Najanga fetu tu dewa na tu bongo ta. Najanga nari nari kuba muye mbogo. Netu diye pina netu duka netu netu ita bakuru. Neva jam sa jana duka na itira ona apu kasenge nge wa musumba na agenda. Paga no kula banga vani da mulesa. Yamu no kana mte kama kavira na muleka. Fere tu jana tu kata vani da sigende waka. Malu malu mnyaka mke tu chabere dao. Nare ne mnyaka muenda. 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 Gua omu jukiro mwaka gua limu akaji. Tusha lugukira. Chaba isa ba chaba limu atu buli denga bo 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 chama isa. Nzali nati anyo ndari njali muto nenti anyo nuto kana nenda ne waka ne ne waka. Tena na ne nati na yendo wazi. Uba ulipuli domu domu ya uba na na tuta. Yes. 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 We're meeting with another vanilla farmer, Joffrey, and his family. Mm. Ne ya tebo na zinbazara ni katika kwa bantu msaamvu wa na waka. Na mwa bana msaamvu wa. Tita mbola burungi. Tita inkuwe tonya. Nda wada la guri ni wanga wamuda ba yena. Sebe kati tu tu di burungi. Vani la tu o kuvu buto mwa mwa familia yafu. Tuli mavanila, okuvu obuto na kula mulaba. Kati wanonga, like, usaira, ilio kuwela bize mwenyemiro. Hmm. Tugamba, like, omuchara na wana mbote wa kuwati za kuwela kuwela nuyo bantu wa bilu wakati. Wechiba anga tutu usemu bisela bi uru umula. Kati nga watulutu usemu, banyamba kemi sana. Kati guno mwezi guno guo kutanu guno ba umude. Kati baveda yoko, zene mbeda yechiro. Kati ya baa na vano, omusubi za ya kantu. Omusubi za ya kantu, nuwa mwela gati enti okamuwa. Kasi to okamuwa, bambi ya damu achi, adamu amanyi. Haba na baga nyevi, ntuwe viko ze sewe, yonge mipira, lebu, ledi yo, ledi yo, bo. Kasi to okamuwa, atende njuko ya neku samelu wanze mwela achi. Nze mwele da, uniform mwze nzigura. Ehane, labi onambi muda ganti wazi watu kula chi, watu jia katina wanga cheme nte tu babu bila tu bijawa, tu bijawa li na ba mumativo na ge na kumu muri mugafu. Chala ya bategeka. Abano gena kusoma. Ogena kusoma ro. Neba kumu tu gena kuwa demu garden. Abano orogo orogo ro. Abano ba kula kumi ah katiba katisa wa bobusa la webi ti tebeta tebeta gisanyo. Ba kula mimi muda jawa ka kuba katiku kuma vani ya kuli koko no no muda watu watu no boku tuundula. Na yu mbanda butu ndu deda. Vani do murima? Murima. Umutia gira bulonji? Bulonji nyo. Viva mubi mani? Mufanila? Viva kola, viva kola mbu. Sibi manye vyo na manye kwa vitono. Mpila isi kumu pafiu muomu, mtipate kamu vanila. Mubiyo kunyo nga isi kulimu, muli mu vanila. Muyo gati, amata muwa mu vanila. Today we have successfully visited two different vanilla farms um, and I've learned a lot as well but I think what continues to shock me is the disconnect between the brands and the vanilla farmers. I can't believe that farmers who pretty much eat, sleep, breathe vanilla have never even seen the end products. Um, as you saw on the first farm we went to, um, she didn't even know 
what vanilla perfume was she didn't know that vanilla was used in lotion um, as the farmer we just interviewed said he, he doesn't even know what um, he thinks vanilla is used in ice cream but he's not sure and he wishes that brands would have more of a human touch um, in regards to understanding where the farmers are coming from and I will personally do some more research on this just to see if any brands have raised awareness in regards to the issues surrounding vanilla farming such as um, child labor which hasn't been addressed explicitly during our time here um, quite guarded on that nobody wants to really come out and say that children work on the farms um, though implicitly it has been suggested also the issue of thieves um, the issue of these farmers losing so much profit because people are literally coming in overnight and taking everything they've done and it takes about eight months to harvest vanilla um, so that's an issue of safety as well um, as uh, the previous farmer was explaining to us she said that there's been an incident where uh, thieves came with spears and luckily they didn't hit anyone um, thank God but I really want to do research and see if brands are aware um, or just choosing to ignore the issues that come with vanilla farming. The global cosmetics market is expected to be worth $622 billion by 2028. However, the hidden cost of this growth could be more exploitation of more children. As content creators and influencers, we have the power to raise awareness about the hidden cost of beauty, and this is just the beginning.